Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Lead us to stand. Uh, I will invite a prayer from uh, MCC, uh, Madam Charity Capona. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you this evening. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you, my God, for this party patriotic fund. We thank you, my God, for everything that is happening. For you said, Lord, according to your word in Romans chapter 23, verse 8, that everything happens for good for those who love the Lord. My Father and my God, we love you and we trust in you. Father, we believe in you because you are the God of justice. My Father, we may not have received any justice from man, but we know as patriotic friends that we believe in you. And therefore, Lord, tonight, even as our leaders are going to address the nation, my Father and my God, I pray that give them the wisdom, my God, that Lord God, our glass would wherever they are, that they will have peace of mind. That Lord God, you are the God of justice and you are going to see us through in this situation. Now, Father, I commit this meeting into your very hands. Even as we pray, Lord God, that give every member of patriotic flood the peace of mind. That Lord God, you are the God, my God, the vindicator, and you are the judge of all the judges. Father, we commit this night into your very hands. I pray with thanksgiving in my heart. Amen. 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 Kindly take your seats. Uh, we are gathered today for an emergency press conference to be addressed by the Patriotic Front. You are aware of development that occurred uh, uh, late afternoon where uh, uh, the injunction that restrained Mao Sampa as a member of the Patriotic Front was lifted. We are leaving legal matters, there are political processes that have to be done. The leadership has been gathered in an emergency manner to address both our members and the country. At this stage, I will invite Honorable uh, 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 Rafael Nakachinda, the Secretary General, to speak to you briefly. Then you will invite the President, Honorable Acting President, Honorable Given Rubinda, to speak. Uh, do we need to introduce the members of Central Committee that are here. I think on account of time, and this is an emergency meeting, I'll just introduce the front line. You, we have uh, Honorable Nixon Chilango, our Deputy, Deputy Secretary General. We have our National Chairperson, Honorable Emmanuel uh, Mpankata, Musonda Mpankata. We have the Acting President, Honorable Given Luwinda, and we have Honorable Rafael Nakachinda uh, and the rest of the members of the Central Committee that are here. Honorable Rafael Nakachinda, Please address uh, the press and ab address the country. Could you wish to stand or speak us? Well, I think uh, I'll, I'll speak while I sit in. The Vice President, uh, the Chairman of our party, the Deputy Secretary General, uh, members of the uh, uh, Central Committee, our provincial chairman and his uh, uh, and members of his executive, the district, uh, you know, committee members that are here for Lusaka, uh, members of the press. As uh, our chairman for information has, uh, you know, said, this is an emergency press briefing to address uh, one particular item by our Vice President. But before I call upon him, I just wanted to give a brief a background to what we are dealing with today. The Zambian people have been speaking from 2021 to signs of the dictatorship, dictatorial tendencies exhibited by the UPND government, particularly President Akainde Ichirema. 
there have been a number of things that have occurred clearly demonstrating a determined effort to rape brutally our democracy. Acting President and Vice President, what happened to your two members of parliament, Honorable Joe Malangi for Kwacha, Honorable Boma Nusambo for Kabushi, the injustice occasioned where some of the senior legal minds in this country have clearly stated that those seats were stolen, robbed from us, the Patriotic Front and the people of Kwacha and Kabushi and the people of Zambia in a very brutal manner using lawfare. Ms. Haka in the has not just ended there. He promised the Zambian people that he will now undertake what he was calling Imingalato. And Imingalato in this case he was basically saying we will not follow the rules. We will not adhere to the, to the law. What has happened I want to believe is not only shocking to members of Patriotic Front but it's shocking to the Zambian people. We have one among us who decided to hold a gathering by himself with a few, you know, street characters that he gathered together, supported by UPN decaders. He has been trotting between South Africa and Zambia to meet mainly those who sponsor the UPND. He has been meeting the Americans, meeting the British, and we know their stance when it comes to the UPND government and orchestrated a scheme to destroy Patriotic Front because the Zambian people have already been speaking to the fact that they miss our party, they miss our policies, they miss our development agenda that was very clear, speaking to their needs and not what is happening now that basically it's a regime that is captured by foreign interest. We have a president that is a puppet. In executing this scheme, the first steps were to paralyze and, you know, compromise institutions of government. The judiciary was never spared. The executive, we know what has uh, been happening. As it were, Honorable Vice President, what we're experiencing now is something that was orchestrated from community house and some of the names are being alleged to be the, ad ad the advisors and schemers of what is happening to Patriotic Front. We have one of the clergy persons who has even made commentaries sign, trying to celebrate that uh, according to him PF will be you know, will be given the test of their own medicine, advising on how the laws should be manipulated to achieve a particular agenda. It's very unfortunate that we went before the court, the initial stage is time, at the time that uh, this whole criminal enterprise was being undertaken on the 24th of um, October on Independence Day, we attempted to go before the court to seek redress, to stop this damage that is being occasioned to the party. Unfortunately, the courts were not available, both in Lusaka jurisdiction and central province. When we then had an opportunity to be heard, an injunction was granted, to the shock of everybody, an injunction that was heard and given a date for inter-party hearing has miraculously been discharged today. Even when we had applications to do with contempt and other applications that have been made by other colleagues who felt they have an interest. We are still studying and obviously the lawyers are looking at all that. I thought that the Zambian people should appreciate that this is not a PF battle. This is a battle for the Zambian people. This is a battle in defense of democracy. The destruction of the main opposition in the Republic of Zambia is the destruction 
of democracy. Without preempting you, Honorable Vice President, may I respectfully call upon you. You speak not only to the people of Zambia, but also give comfort to your members that are seeking for answers across the country. I call upon you and thank you very much. My fellow countrymen and women, a dark cloud has been cast on the Republic of Zambia. However, this is not surprising for us in the Patriotic Front. It has not come as a surprise for me. Those who have been following my press briefings will recall that I've been very consistent in calling out Haga Inde Ejidema as a dictator in the making. I've said many times that all the activities of Haga Inde Ejidema point to the fact that he is working towards creating a one-party state. I've also stated before that just the mention of the name Patriotic Front makes Haga Inde Ejidema have goose pimples. It will be recalled how the UPND New Doom government started by questioning the office bearers of the Patriotic Front. Instead of having only 10 names, we ended up submitting 15 names, all to try and ensure that their plan to deregister this party does not succeed. We also reported to you countrymen and women that this is the only organization in Zambia that was compelled by the police that in clearing the names of office bearers they must present their curriculum vitae. There is no organization, not even the UPND was compelled to provide CVs for office bearers. Only this party was subjected to that kind of treatment. It will also be recalled that, as Secretary General said, when they stopped our MPs from contesting seats in Kabushi and Kwacha, we ran to the courts of law because we're a civil political party. We know how Haga Inde Hijirema did not respect the ruling of the court. He compelled the ECZ to proceed with the elections even if there was an injunction that was existing, that matter is still in court as we speak today. So allow me not to delve into it too much. But this is an indication of the fact that we're being governed by a man who in the afternoon says he's going to rule by the law. He's going to govern by the rule of law. And yet, what he actually does in practice is the abrogation of the law. At every turn, Haga Inde Ejidema is willing to breach the law with impunity. It is very clear to us that they've been looking for this opportunity and they found it when they found a weak soul in one mile's Wadia Samba. Yes. We applied and were granted an injunction. Right. And the return date of that injunction, meaning the date on which the judge wanted to come and assess the merits of our argument in the presence of the defense, meaning Mao Sampa and his team, was set for 21st of November. We were preparing ourselves, our lawyers were preparing our arguments to go and argue the case on the 21st of November. Surprisingly, today, even before our lawyers were heard, the court has decided to discharge that injunction. And one lay person like myself who asks a question, what is it that they'll go and talk about on the 21st of November? 
Mm. Now that the court has decided to withdraw that injunction, to discharge that injunction, literally meaning that the court has allowed what happened on 24th of October. Thank you, God. What is even more surprising is that not too long ago, an SI 529 was issued by Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security. And the Registrar of Society using that SI wrote to all political parties, asking political parties to be in keeping with their constitutions so that they can replace all people, all the vacancies. They feel filling all the vacancies in the leadership of their parties within 60 days. You may recall, fellow citizens, that the Registrar of Societies also compelled political parties to submit their constitutions with the Registrar. What does that mean? Why did she want us to submit constitutions? Why is it that every political party submits constitutions to the Registrar of Societies? It is because the Registrar of Societies must ensure that political parties are conducting themselves in accordance with their constitutions. Right. And the constitution of the Patriotic Front is explicit on how an extraordinary conference can be held. It is explicit on who should attend a general conference. It is also clear as to who shall address a general conference. The Patriotic Front Constitution states that it is the central committee that will call a general conference. It is also clear in the Constitution that before the general conference, there should be a national council. A national council consisting of all members of parliament, all councillors, consisting of the, all members of the central committee, and selected people from provinces. That's what our constitution says. Now, it is surprising that the Registrar of Societies, who knew very well that what was done on the 24th of October at Mulungushi, did not meet the minimum criteria that is set in our constitution, she still goes ahead and accepts the results, the product of an illegality. Shame. Out of a rotten bag of potatoes cannot come chips. It is impossible. You cannot make chips out of rotten potatoes. And if that meeting was illegal in accordance with our constitution, it therefore follows that the product is also illegal. You can't plant rotten seed and expect that it will germinate. How come in this particular case, an abrogation of our constitution is stated to have produced a legal team? How? I want to sound this to all our members. The leadership of the party is not going to rest on this matter. For this party to be what it is today, people lost lives. People lost property. People lost jobs to create this party. And as we stand today, we are aware of the fact that every Zambian is concerned about the poor governance of the UPND. Yes. And we know, we know very well that Hagainde is trying to achieve two purposes. One, to distract people from seeing what is happening. Mm. He doesn't want people to continue to complain about the high cost of living by distracting their attention for their attention to come to this unnecessary debate about the future of the Patriotic Front. Okay. We need to break. I want to sound a clear message to Hagainde. Yes. You can get rid of this leadership in the Patriotic Front. But you cannot stop the patriotic front spirit. Mm. That you are not capable of stopping. Can the Registrar of Society explain to us? She doesn't live out in space. She lives here in Lusaka. Isn't she aware of the fact that when we said those who are interested in being president of our party, come and 
register yourselves and nine people registered their names did she even take interest to find out where those nine in that competition how can one person just decide on his own i'm going to organize a, an extraordinary conference and the register of society accepts that competing with his driver and cook can we tomorrow ask members of the pf to go and organize a upnd extraordinary conference and replace hagainde because that's what he's saying so tomorrow another candidate of ours should be given an opportunity to also go to Mulungushi and organize his own thugs and they declare themselves winners mm -hmm. what anarchy is that the people who are calling us in pf as being lacking governor good governance records where are they where Rafael Nakachinda in his capacity as Secretary General of this party went to the Inspector General of Police with a letter of complaint over the conduct of Mayu Sampa here at our Secretariat. Criminal trespass. To date the IG has not taken any action. Why? He even goes ballistic and says we're not going to arrest him because there's no complaint. <laughs> They are quick to arrest us just for making statements. Study Mwale simply for saying millers stop producing millimil to make sure that you don't waste your millimil because the price you are selling it at is too high compared to the price of ZNS millimil. Let the ZNS millimil sell, he's arrested for sedition. A person who commits a criminal offense against an organization is let free. It is clear to us that the function that was held at Mulungushi was not a PF function, that was a state function. Yes. Yes. That was a state function. Cowards. State house country. Cowards. That was a function sponsored by no other than Haga Inde Hijirema himself. Yes. Mao Sampa only obtained authority to hold that meeting on the, at midnight of the 23rd of October. Mm. And yet all of us are being denied our right to associate, our right to assemble. For Mao Sampa Express. Why? Even clear fingerprints before you hold the conference. Can they explain to us the reason why Mulungushi International Conference Center was packed with police? No. It was cordoned and there were even armored vehicles. Why? There were police officers inside the room making sure that there is harmony, there is peace. Why? They feared, they thought that this party is a party like theirs, a party of hooligans and people who are violent. We knew about that. We didn't want to go and cause mayhem because we value life. We value the blood of Zambians. We let them have their halabaloo. And we did that because we were under the impression that in this country, there are some people who still respect the rule of law. Yes. Yeah. We have not lost hope. Members of the Patriotic Front, peace-loving Zambians, lovers of democracy, take this word. We have not lost hope. Yes, they stole our two seats on the Copper Belt. And yes, today as we stand here, they have stolen the Patriotic Front. But I want to assure you, this is only for a short moment. This is only for a short moment. For all my colleagues, leaders of other opposition political parties, read the times. I want to commend those who have already commented and condemned this action. If they can destroy the largest opposition political party in the country, where does it leave you? If you think that there is going to be any breadcrumbs from the patriotic front which we can salvage, I want to assure you, my dear brothers and sisters, it is the wrong way to go. Zambia needs a strong opposition for us to continue to enjoy our multi-party democracy. Yes. Members of this party, 
get my word get the word of all of us in the leadership not a single member of parliament except one a renegade who was actually suspended attended that nonsense that fiasco not a single member of the central committee attended that fiasco not a single councillor attended that fiasco not a single chairman attended that fiasco and yet the registrar of societies accepts their papers and says madam registrar this take notice from me take notice now we are instructing our lawyers to call you out mm. so that you can explain to us why you have allowed to ignore our constitution and the provisions of our constitution because now what this means is that it is no longer any use to submit constitutions to you it is useless we submit constitutions to you so that you can check how our institutions are operating and now if you know you have no regard to our constitutions it means that we must also amend the law so that no organization submit their constitutions we are going to challenge you on this we are instructing our lawyers to call you out personally yes yeah and also for all of you public servants you should know that there is no government that will go on in perpetuity mm -hmm. never they have said that they're going to govern for 90 years because they think that they're going to decimate opposition in zambia Useless. Kenneth Kaunda tried his project failed the Zambian people rose he was forced to amend article 4 of the constitution at midnight and Kenneth Kaunda was a real giant by the way he was not a scared little man he was a giant but the will of the people forced him to sign the amendment of the constitution without even going to a referendum this must show that the will of the people shall always prevail yes. and the right is might yeah. as far as we are concerned we are still the legitimate leaders of this party and anyone who's going around simply because of what happened today is just a masquerader yes. Yes. and we are ready i am prepared yes. to go into prison for this we are not going to allow Faggery of this kind yes. because allowing this is betraying the 20 million zambians yes. it's betraying the future of this country allowing this is agreeing that zambia must turn into a dictatorship yeah. we shall not allow a dictatorship in this country but now my fellow members and all zambians time has come mm -hmm. for me to call you to action yes yes don't leave it on the shoulders of only these our leaders no we shall not achieve it on our own we shall be in front but please come and join us on our sides all those who know that this is a betrayal of the cause of the people who died for the liberation of this country rise now rise yes. Yes. wherever you are rise rise wherever you are rise in the market rise on bus stations rise in the buses rise and demand that democracy must be protected we cannot allow the decimation of democracy in this country no 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 people lost lives yes and we are ready. blood was shed yeah. for the liberation of this country yes. and if you think that our forebears their lives went for nothing and that because they are dead therefore that spirit is dead you are making a mistake the spirit to fight for democracy is alive in these people here yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We are ready. Mm.
let us stand up and be counted i would like every member of the patriotic front starting tonight the message is save democracy the second message is stand up and defend yourselves stand up and fight for democracy they have done this on a very opportune day mm. the night before we call to memory yes. and honor of the founding father of this party fearless man and if people think that the spirit of michael sata is gone it is alive yeah. we sucked from his wisdom in the process we also sucked from his courage mm -hmm. come whatever it will come we are ready to defend yeah. the legacy of michael chirufia yeah. yeah. we will not sell this party simply for the love of money no no, no. we are ready yes tomorrow we are gathering at the memorial park mm tomorrow we are gathering at the memorial park and i want to call upon all of you citizens yes. Yes. in lusaka yes. all of you yes. people from outside lusaka those who can let us converge tomorrow because tomorrow yes. what we'll be doing is honoring a person who fought for zambia's liberation and also fought for democracy in this country yeah. and let us go there in numbers let us all be in green yes. and the songs tomorrow are the songs that I've sung here. Yeah. Stand up and fight for democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up and be counted. Starting now, that is the message for us for everywhere until justice is seen to be provided to every citizen. Yeah. Yeah. We have not yet completely lost hope in the judiciary. We haven't. Make no mistake, we haven't and going to the judiciary is not a sign of weakness on our part no, not. it is because we are a law respecting party yes. yeah. and we want to honor those judges we are going back to them to go and explain to them that this is not acceptable this is not right can you imagine the kind of anarchy that we're going to create in this country yeah. and no one will be safe no we all live in this country it is the duty of all of us to defend the constitution of the republic and that constitution is all about multi-party democracy in this country yeah. therefore whoever dares to destroy multi-party democracy is breaching the provisions of the constitution of the land yeah. those who are doing things with impunity remember that when there's a change of government mm. you shall also be held to account yeah. yes. you are therefore better off being on this on the right side of history yes i for one and speaking on behalf of my colleagues mm -hmm. we want to be found to be on the right side yes. Yes. of history yeah. we want to be found to be on the right side in the fight for democracy mm -hmm. without patriotic front you can cut my finger if there will ever be free and fair elections in this country mm. yes. so those of you who are aspiring to be councillors to be mps those of you who are aspiring to have your children rise in this country this is the time for you yes. invest now for the future yes. i want to thank all those people are sending us messages of solidarity for those who have been sending us mess calls and asking and lamenting my message to you is look up to god Amen. Yeah. Amen. the god of justice Amen. whatever evil man does cannot in any way overshadow the love and justice of god Amen. and god is watching over us yes so let us pray for each other but in praying for each other let us not be meek mm. 
let us pray for strength yes. let us pray that god gives us the blood the spirit to stand up and fight yes. for this country thank you very much and see you tomorrow before the president moves uh, well spoken president because it's a press conference just two things I'll invite the president to speak to tomorrow's events at the cathedral and the embassy park people think it could be spontaneous but this is something we've planned I think and announced before that again what happened in court today is just an injunction that was lifted remember we have sued mr mal sampa that is expelled and all we did was to obtain an injunction to restrain him to act as member of the pf we still insist is expelled and those are the decisions that were made that hasn't changed the case remains active in court we'll be pushing for an urgent interparty hearing and other matters so some people are thinking that because the injunction has been lifted therefore we've lost the case i needed to explain that the case is very active in court what we did is we sued mr Mal Sampa demonstrated that he's expelled and we obtained an injunction where now the judge has discharged it, what they call ex parte without us we are going now to gather and tell the judge why are we expelled Mr. Sampa who demonstrate that he stormed the party secretariat and nearly burnt this place, who demonstrate that he held an illegal event and as for the registrar, that's another illegality. Mr. President, speak to tomorrow, why are people gathering tomorrow people might just think that is spontaneous why is it green day why michael sata tomorrow i'm sure that all citizens watching us from across the country know that nine years ago zambia lost that gallant son michael chirufia sata and ever since then we've had gatherings at embassy park honoring the memory of our soldier this is going to be the ninth time that we're honoring him and tomorrow's program starts at the cathedral of the child jesus because michael sata was catholic and after that all of us will converge at embassy park and like we've done in the past we're going to eulogize michael sata at embassy park we're going to address each other at michael sata's memorial so please turn out in large numbers and we also informed you already that we decided to declare the 28th of october as green day yeah. yes. green day just to signify that we are a peaceful party and we're a party that is going ahead all the time we are not going to look at anyone stopping us with red mm. we are green meaning we're flourishing we're working on and especially now with what is happening let us wear green yeah. to show that this is our revolution a revolution to defend yeah. our democracy yeah yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Members of the press and for those watching us on social media, join us tomorrow at the cathedral and at Embassy Park. God bless you. God bless this country. Can we close in prayer? Someone to close in prayer quickly. to us and in our lives yes we pray god for this country we pray for democrats we pray for the patriotic front and its members yes. we continue waiting upon you god yes, for when the time is ripe mm. we know god that will come through for us and for the people of zambia yes. god your people in this country are hating mm. your people are suffering yes. your people cannot have square meals in a day mm. your people are full of lamentations mm. god our father your people like the children of israel mm. moving around in the wilderness mm. and they are looking up to you God, they've got a vessel that will take them to the next level. This is the patriotic front. Mm -hmm. We ask and wait upon you, God, that your right decisions at the right time will come for us. As we go through the night, we pray that watch over us, watch over Zambia, mm -hmm. and that as you may wish, God our Father, and you may purpose, we meet tomorrow through Christ our Savior. We pray to do it tomorrow and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go